Hi Scorpios, it's Elle here to do your September 2018 general reading. It's a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Scorpio who views the video. But if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Make sure you are commenting because you could be you could win a free reading with me tomorrow. I'm going to announce the winners. Okay. So let's get started. do is free form okay so whatever comes up comes out or whatever comes out comes up well, you know <laughs> all right so um we'll ask the cards what do you have to tell scorpio for love my scorpios needing love messages what are the messages for love i hope that all my scorpios are doing well and everyone is in good health. All right, the bottom of the deck, the magician. Get into a place of knowing what what you want and making making it happen for you. You know, putting things in, in motion, taking action, uh, manifesting, um, saying your your prayers, your affirmations. Let's see, Eight of Pentacles, Judgment, Page of Cups. Five of Swords, Six of Wands. Wow. Okay. Some of you dealing with a fire sign. You're really trying to um, determine if you want to have a second chance with this person. Some of you are married to this person. There are children involved and or the fire sign is coming back to you with this very small gesture of, of love. It's, you know, it could be a gift. It could be just messages of wanting to renew what was there. Someone wants to work on a second chance. They're giving those messages, but there's been a lot of arguing. There's been a lot of fights. There's There was interference, whether it was work or another person or persons, you know. But someone wants you to see them some some of these people this person is is doing this all just for attention this could be Aries Sagittarius Leo when I say doing it for attention it's to shift your focus off of what you were focused on and it could very well have been rebuilding and gaining your own self wealth um, Scorpio and then this person wants attention over here. So they do things and they say things just so you can take the focus off of what you were focused on, put it on them. And then there, but it's not a real, um, there's no intention behind it. Like now that you're focused on them, that's just it. Let's see if we can get any more messages. Maybe for another set of Scorpios. What are the messages for Scorpios? Some of you are just tired, fed up with the situation. Some of you are experiencing some happiness in a new situation. New relationship, new dating situation. Right. Ace of Cups. Yeah, some of you, you've got someone as a secret, but there's love here. Or King of Pentacles. Right. So, so some of you have Scorpios have newness, maybe with a Gemini male or female someone who is financially sound you're trying to hold on to them but you also are trying to hold on to another person who rules your desire your passion your that fiery energy there's something here or someone in secret You try to make a decision. Do you let them go or do you hold on? 
Now, this could be vice versa. You could be dealing with a fire sign. They have someone else in secret. Or you're trying to de determine if you even want to continue with them. Some of you are trying to determine if you still want your husband or do you want this other person. You found some of you found newness here, new love. It's going well, but you still you still holding on for, to someone from the past. Yeah, this inner conflict, uh, maybe even outer conflict with this person. bottom of the deck the three of wands someone yeah someone's longing for someone waiting for someone wait or someone is putting themselves first to and leaving behind the situation let's see nine of swords the moon ace of cups again six of cups oh temperance some of you feel like this person was spiritually guided to you this is your soulmate you have children with this person, maybe a Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or you want children with this person, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You feel like this is just like some type of, I don't even really get into the titles, twin flame type of energy here. You're really trying to find clarity around a situation that you're stuck in that brings you some mental anxiety. Uh also some of you may feel this way because once again you're hiding someone or something or yeah you're waiting for the opportunity to walk away some of you are manifesting a real heavy duty sexual like the sex is really good here there's love here Some of you, you love this person or they love you because of the chemistry. And what I'm hearing is the sexual chemistry. It's real hot and heavy to where it's, it's, <laughs> okay. It's frying someone's brain in, in the terms of you're not thinking straight. You're not thinking clearly. The queen of pentacles thinks clearly. She thinks of partnership strategic and uh, logical partnership yeah you, you have to make a decision and you know that there will be some illumination you are hesitating before making this decision whatever it may be Scorpio wow some heavy duty stuff here Time wise, do okay. one more spread. So overall, I mean, for some of you, you have a new relationship, but you're still holding on to someone who you are still carrying the torch for. They light your flame in every way. Um, you may even have children with this person. Ace of Swords flipped out. Someone needs to be clear about what they want. With with this type of clarity comes separation and or trying to decide what to do next here. And it might just be that you have to accept the loss, move on, decide to move on. Okay. Yeah, eight of wands, 
seven of swords someone else could be moving on quickly away from you or you get some communication about somebody being very sneaky a liar keeping options open um Yeah, acting single. This is someone completely acting single. Fire sign again. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Ace of Cups, Two of Wands, Four of Wands, Judgment. Bottom of the deck, the world. For some of you, you find out that somebody, so, somebody wants a second chance and you have to determine if you're going to give something, a relationship, a second chance, or are you walking away? Those are your two options here. Be final and clear in your decision, whatever it may be. Because you know that someone has been unfaithful and, quite frankly, an outright liar. Or you've been this to this other person. Um, Scorpio. Also, uh, Libra is highlighted here. Some of you dealing with a Libra. Um, you're, not, you're not really being honest with this person. You're not really being upright and forthcoming about intention or non-intention let's see what's going on you love this person but not enough to respect the relationship there's heavy duty sexual energy chemistry between you and someone else and it's cloud and judgment let's see two cards here Let's get two advice cards. Let's close out the reading. Okay. Oh, th got three of those. Okay. All right. So if you have a question, the answer is if you believe. Uh, a year from now this popped out off camera for you and I was shuffling too so whatever it is will be a year from now if you believe all right let's see emotions definitely memories Ooh, motivation um, <clears throat> this is what is tying you to a situation that could very well be toxic for you or if not toxic it's just um, you're in a place of knowing that someone has been unfaithful, a liar, a cheat, you know, deceptive. And you, your emotions are all tied up into this. We get the five of cups twice. Um, memories of the good times of, of what you shared together. Children. You need to have the motivation to either get yourself out of that situation, forgive this person and move on with them or move on without them. The ball is in your court with the two of wands. The bottom of the deck, religion and spirituality. For some of you, um, rely heavily on your religion and your spirituality. It'll give you the signs that you need. <laughs> and then the bottom of the deck, meditation brings answers. This is where it's going to come from. Spirituality, pray, meditate. We have the four of swords twice, I believe. Um... You'll know it, what to do once you get to a quiet place. Okay, I hope that this reading resonated for you. That it gave you a bit of clarity about any situation you're going through. All of my information is below if you want to schedule a personal reading with me. Um, send me an email. Go over to Instago. Go over to my website. Book a reading there. Um, make sure you're commenting below. Scorpio, when in doubt, pray. I am praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care. And I look forward to talking with you for your, your mid-September readings.